Hey, I remember this couch. This is the couch where you go to interview for, uh, oh, never mind. Hi, YouTube, and welcome to a brand new game called the Orville Interactive Fan Experience. This is a game created by Messy Desk Studios, formerly known as Stage 9, the same people who created the Enterprise. They now have a new project that they are working on, as you can see on the screen. Well, in a moment you can. As you can see what's going on on the screen right now, you can see that they have set their sights on working on the Orville. And with this new immersive and interactive game comes new qualities. For example, the multiplayer feature allows you to play with other players in a server along with some of the devs on this project, or you can create your own server and just play along with your friends. This game is available on Steam, by the way, which makes the multiplayer function more usable. You also are able to edit your character. So let's just jump right in on that, shall we? Now in the game, you basically start out with a default character. And since this is only the first alpha release version, we have only limited options here. We can choose from different characters. We can go with a, a Mocklin. Uh, we don't have any Salaeans yet, but we have many other different humanoid characters in the game. You can adjust your character's skin color, hair root, hair root color, and hair tip color. Oh my gosh, you guys, we can have two-tone hair. You can also change the shape of their body, which means you can control the torso width, the torso depth, leg growth, arm growth, and shoulder size. Let's see who else we can choose from. Quang. Don't think I've ever seen this character before. Yeah, he's got the man bun going on there. I don't think I'm really fond of any of these characters. Whoa! Dang, girl! This character be slaying it! Is this Lizzie? It sure as hell looks like Lizzie. Wow. Anyway, you can switch from head view to body view, kind of like in The Sims. Uh, let's just go with, uh, Kalon. Oh, we can, we can, we can set our... Okay, it doesn't really change his appearance much. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if we could have different colored Kalons in this? So, I think I'm just gonna play as an Isaac for right now. And, let's all just jump right on in. Oh yeah, and you can also choose where you want your game to set to take place. You can start in the asteroid field, in Seoul, I guess that's around our sun, and um, the void. Ooh, animated computer screens. Don't mind if I do. So we're going to start out in the Union Deck and Dockyard. Deckyard. <laughs> uh, we're going to start in the Union Dockyard, so uh, let's go. So, where the heck did I spawn? Oh. Cool, it looks like we start out in our own quarters. This is really co A spiral staircase? Really? My god, this ship is fancy. And this looks like the little breakfast nook. And next to it we have a replicate- I mean... A synthesizer. A food synthesizer. How do we use it? Oh, it looks like they took that feature out. Looks like we can't really use it right now. Let's see what's going on outside our quarters. Wait, what? Oh, this is the captain's quarters. Right, I guess that explains the spiral staircase. So we spawn in the captain's quarters. Interesting. Ah, another spiral staircase. What's up here? Oh, is this a deck? This is the captain's office, so it looks like it. Here's Kermit the Frog! Oh my goodness, let's go make him some tea. Okay, apparently this synthesizer doesn't work either. Oh, I see. To interact with something, you have to press F. Oh. Well, now I feel like a silly. Oh, it works! 
Scragnug. Uh, zoom. How do you zoom? Like that? Okay, good. Scragnug. First of his name, King of the Devs, and the first... Oh! He's from the Discord server! Right. I wonder if other important people of the Discord have their names scattered around the ship somewhere. Let's hand Kermit his tea. Oh! Oh! I spilled the tea, you guys! Can I interact with anything else in here? Like this thing? No, I guess not. Whoa! I can interact with this thing, though! It's a giant gun of some sort. <gasps> oh my god! I just damaged the captain's office. I started a fire. Oh, well, the fire's gone, but the... Oh my god, it left marks. These things leave marks. What does it do to the windows? Nothing, apparently. Well, the windows are damageless, but the walls are not... Oh. The burn marks are disappearing. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't want to hold this thing anymore. How do I drop it? I keep pressing F, but it's not dropping. How do I work this? Press G to drop weapon. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Hey, I remember this couch. This is the couch where you go to interview for, uh, oh, never mind. <clears throat> Which means this must be the conference room, or the... Yeah, conference room. <laughs> I don't know what else it's called. I, I was about to call it the meeting room, I guess, but... Basically the same thing. Can we sit in here? No, we... Can't sit here yet. Well, that suits me just fine, because I am a robot. I have no need for sitting. What is this? Weapons locker? Oh, this is cool. I bet I know the combination. And open says me. <gasps> it works. Okay. Can we, can we interact with this stuff? Oh, we can. These are little tiny things. They pretty much do the same thing except in a lower capacity. And this must be the bridge. Welcome to the Orville, ladies and gentlemen. And look, here's my workstation. Wow. Can I actually interact with anything here? Oh, I've, I've stood up, I've stood up. Um, okay, I'm clicking on things, but nothing seems to be working. Oh, I can click on this, though. Party mode. What does that do? <gasps> no way. No way. Oh. <laughs> My Cyberman face is in the way. <laughs> oh my god, we can have raves on the bridge now. Everything is neon. Is it like this throughout the entire ship? Oh my god. It is. Even the lights on the stairs are freaking out. This is this is amazing. Okay, but I don't wanna I don't wanna party anymore. Please stop the music. Thank you. What else can we explore around here? Oh. Hey, this controls different lighting systems. Let's start with this. Day shift lighting. Which didn't do anything. I guess it's because we're already in day shift lighting. What does night shift lighting do? It just lowers the ambient lighting a little bit. To make it more chill. And of course we have blue alert. Or... Condition normal. Condition blue. Okay. Now we have yellow alert. Wow, it turns all the lights yellow. I think it also turns some of the panels yellow, too, like this one. That's pretty cool. Oh! The whole ship does it! That is actually really useful, and really... really exciting. I don't have another word for it. Can we hold the door open? Like it usually is on the show. 
That's amazing! How about red alert? Wow, it turned all of the displays red! Oh, and it even has the moving lights! They didn't have this in the demo trailer, but they've added it now! This is incredible! See what emergency lighting does. Okay, it stops the wacky music, but it leaves everything on red and extremely dark. Can hardly see a foot in front of my face. It looks so ominous and evil. It's pretty creepy. I could turn the corridor and something weird will be standing there. Why why is this door open? It shouldn't be open. That was creepy. It's almost as if an Im invisible person was standing there. Not exactly something I want to think about, since this is a single-player thing. So let's go back to Condition Normal, or Condition Blue, I like to call it, because everything is blue. Where does this door lead? Oh! So this is... This is where the captain's quarters are, so that's where this door leads. It just leads out into the A-deck corridor. That's pretty nice that the captain's quarters are directly outside of the bridge in case he is desperately needed. What else do we have around here? Locked. False door! We've had experiences with false doors, now haven't we? Flashback. Personnel, where does this door lead? To certain decompressive death. End of flashback. What's here across from the captain's quarters? Sick bay. Dr. Finn's domain. Wow, it even has a it even has a synthesizer. What do, what does this synthesizer do? It makes more coffee. All right. Well, can we um can we recycle this? Wow, we can indeed! That is really useful. And here's a panel. I wonder, does this control the clamps? Can we turn the clamps on? Nope. Just for show. This looks like the hypospray thing from Star Trek. Could this actually be from Star Trek? Was this featured in the actual show in the Orville? I can't recall. And this is of course Dr. Finn's office. She's got a nice little arrangement of florals here. Can we turn anything on? Nope. It's just a room. Also, I have been wondering what these things are. They look like little bars of soap. I mean, I know that's not what it actually is. I'm just curious. What is this stuff? At? What is this thing supposed to do? I'm curious. I'm really curious. This one's inclined at a different angle. Oh, cool, we can go through the curtains. Can we mess around with the... with the incline? Nope. Nope, they're all just stuck that way. And these are just vitals. I don't think they control the beds at all. Where does this door go? Ah, still back in the hallway. Coming soon. <gasps> Coming soon? I can play with some of the buttons, just... It's locked. I can't really do anything. But, cool! It says it's coming soon. I shall wait. Okay, what's over here? Bordis's quarters! Ah, oh, we can actually get to see what Bordis's quarters look like. This is Topa's little work desk. At least I think it is. Oh, and a coffee cup. It is labeled Bortus. Bortis. I thought Bortus's name was spelled with just an O and without the A. Learn something new every day. Hey, it's another coffee cup. But this one's on the floor. Uh oh, it's just a It's like the one we saw earlier. Ooh, this is the science lab! Ooh, I remember this thing. This is the anti-banana ray that was created by Dr. <laughs> Isaac also used it and modified it to bring, um... Past Kelly to present Orville. 
Season 2. Okay, I guess that was somewhat a bit of a spoiler. Whoops. Hopefully everybody has seen Season 2 by now. Come on. And apparently it exits out the other side. So where does this door lead? Hmm? Music changed. Oh, this is the mess hall! With its beautiful piano music. Do these coffee cups all have different names of different people? I need to go and check. Because I see mostly repeats, but the one on the bridge said another person's name. So, let's see if we can get more coffee cups with more people's names. That is the original Oroville made by the Wright Brothers. Interesting piece of history, but not what I'm looking for. That is a ficus. Very beautiful. Again, not what I'm looking for. A cactus plant. Pretty. I will save it for Bortus. However, I would like something else, please. Oh, it's a model of the Orville. Don't need it. I'm on the real thing now. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. It's the Jar of Pickles from Season 2. If you guys haven't seen Season 2, I strongly suggest you guys go and watch it because these are a really big deal. There's another rifle. We can play around with that. <gasps> it is another coffee cup. This one says... 11K. Interesting spelling. I kind of wouldn't want to stay around that... <laughs> Around that piano music forever. That would put me to sleep. That would put you all to sleep. Okay, what's this? The lift. Deck B. Okay. What's in here? Music! Why do we have to have this? Okay. I guess we'll go to the shuttle bay first. Oh! We don't even have to stand here and wait. It just teleports us right to the next deck. Yes! That's kind of cool. And here is the shuttle bay. Do you guys think we can actually fly this? Let's start with the courteous thing to do and close the door. I can't close the door. It, it, it's not closing. Maybe you can close it from up here. Okay. Oh, open bay doors. Oh. So you can open those doors from inside here. That's good to know. I don't see a way to close these doors, though. Oh well, there's not really a need to close these doors because I am a robot. I will survive in space, so let's just up and go. Okay, it, it's not moving. I can't move anything. Let's see if I can look at the controls and see how I can move this. Ragdoll? Fall to the floor like a weirdo. Only works in RP mode. Aww. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I'm in single player mode, unfortunately. So we can't show you guys that. But it looks like I can't really move this thing, so... Okay, let's just close the bay doors and get back to the lift. Why Why aren't they closing? I can't close the bay doors. Wow. Alright, well, here we are at Disappointment Central. <laughs> let's just leave. I also can't run, by the way. I think that's some sort of bug in the game where you're supposed to run, but it won't let you. Hello, bug! Oh. Excuse me, I wanted to go back in there. Uh-oh. I think I just locked myself out. Ah, finally. So it looks like when you're exiting the room, the door closes on its own. Okay, well, that's useful information. I get to spend more time with some freaky music. Uh, Deck F Engineering and eSIM. Oh, is this where the environmental simulator is? Oh, it is! And it's right over here. E-SIM 3. 
Oh, I guess I gotta push the button, huh? Huh, the doors are even shaped weird. That's nice. So this is the eSIM. Can we can we mess with anything here? Nope, not as of yet. One day, probably. Where does this door lead? Oh, it's locked. Coming soon. Okay. What's down this corridor? Locked, coming soon. Locked, coming soon. Where does this door lead? Nowhere, apparently. At least not yet. Locked, coming soon. This is a useless corridor! Oh, this one opens, and this one leads to main engineering. Fantastic! Oh my god, you can hear the engine purring right here in this room. Why is this yellow? What the heck? I don't think I like this sound. I must investigate what this sound is. What is there to do down here? Is this like a doorway or something? I probably shouldn't be standing too close to this thing, because I might get radiation poisoning. Might not happen, as I am a robot. Can I do anything here? Is there anything to fiddle with around here? Yafet, I need your help. Your slimy, sticky help. Well, apparently this room is mostly here for decoration, but it's also here for roleplay, I guess. So, that's perfectly fine. At least it's here at all, you know. <laughs> it just skipped. I guess it does that. With each deck, it teleports you to. That's kind of weird. I want to see if I can fly the ship. Um, F, right? Oh, it works. Oh my gosh. Now what? Okay, it looks like we absolutely can fly the ship. Oh! But if I click these buttons, how can I possibly see what I'm doing? Oh! We use the numpad to guide the ship. I see what's going on here. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay, that's how that works. Full speed ahead! Oh, what? Um... How do I move the ship? Okay, it took me about 30 minutes, but I think I finally figured out how to fly this thing. It's to a degree. Okay, the numpad controls the ship's orientation slash attitude, right? So, we can rotate... We can rotate around, go through this thing. I'm trying to figure out how to hug the donkey, you guys. Learning how to hug the donkey is not easy, you guys. Apparently not. Oh gosh. Oh gang. Oh dang. Oh gosh. Oh no. Now that we have finally discerned that I am absolutely terrible at flying this baby, I think it's finally time to just bring her on home. Now, before I even engage to bringing her home... I need to make some adjustments. You can adjust the speed through this little panel here. Now, let's see if I can park this old girl. Okay, yeah. Oh, dear God! What am I doing? Okay, apparently I am terrible at parking, so let's let's figure this out. Honestly, what did I do? I can't even figure out what I did. But I, I don't even know what I did wrong, so let's just bring her in for parking. Whoa. No, definitely not. I am definitely oriented wrong. Let's take her 
her up a little bit. And we will bring her in just a little bit. And that should do it. We should be nicely parked. I guess my character is a bit camera shy. Either that or he really, really finds something really interesting about that console over there. And on that note, I think I will end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. If you guys are interested in playing this game, it is available on Steam. I will link it in the description box below. I will also link the original creators of this magnificent game in the description as well. I will also link their Facebook page. And once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.